Hello everyone, welcome back to 3 Minute Theology. I use, usually like to keep these videos positive and encouraging, but today there is no getting around this. Today's topic is the theology of sin. Now what is sin, you might ask? Well, sin is anything that is outside of the moral law of God. More on the moral law of God in a moment. But each of us commits sin and in fact have a sinful nature which means that we are bent towards sin. We have a natural tendency to want to please ourselves rather than staying inside the moral law that God sets out. This moral law includes but is not limited to the Ten Commandments. Loving God and worshipping Him only, not using the Lord's name in vain, remembering the Sabbath and keeping it holy and having a day of rest, honouring your parents, do not murder, do not commit adultery, do not steal, do not lie. And do not covet or desire your neighbor's possessions or wife. Now, sin is not just something we do, but also what we think, what motivates us, what we say. And the Bible speaks of sin in a number of various ways. It speaks about disobedience, faithlessness, transgression, rebellion, pride, indifference and injustice and even hopelessness. And so sin is not just what we do, but what we think and say. If we're truly honest with ourselves, none of us can say that we are without sin. Each of us have regularly attitudes that are sinful, or say things that are sinful, or even think things or do things that are sinful. And sadly, the consequences of sin impact all of the relationships around us. But most importantly, it impacts our relationship with God. Sin is the one thing that separates humanity from a holy God. And so sin is, an, is a serious matter. It has eternal consequences because the punishment for sin is death. Not just a physical death, but a spiritual death. And you might be thinking, what hope is there then? Well, this is where the good news of Jesus comes in. Jesus was sent to the earth to restore humanity to God by living a sinless life and dying the death that sinners deserved in order that the price for sin might be paid and bring back sinners to God. God gave his only son to demonstrate his love and show his grace and now the free gift of God is eternal life through Jesus the Son. If only we will accept this free gift of salvation and turn from our sin and live for God rather than ourselves, we will be saved from the punishment from sin. God's grace shown through Jesus the Son is the answer to the problem of sin. And now that is good news.